Next week, April 23rd through the 27th, is VA Research Week with the annual research forum at VA Central Office on April 26th. VA researchers and leaders of the Office of Research and Development will have new research to share and a preview of some new research on the drawing board for the future. Here's a report from the Office of Research and Development on the third generation of the DECA ARM system, an incredible invention we told you about a couple of years ago. I was driving home uh, on Memorial Day into Camp Drum. The car fishtailed and I lost control. And uh, I was not wearing my seatbelt. And I fell out of the car and landed on the guardrail that I hit. I was lucky that there was a friend of mine behind me and he saw the accident and he got help right away. But it still didn't save my arm. It saved my life, but not my arm. They gave me a passive um, prosthetic arm, which was all nice and everything made me smile a little bit. It was heavy and it just hung at my side. When he came into the study, he was not a prosthetic user. He hadn't used an upper limb for perhaps 30 or 40 years. Uh, he had felt that what he had available to him just really wasn't functional enough and didn't have value. The DECA arm is an advanced upper limb prosthesis, an artificial arm. It's an arm system. It was developed uh, through DARPA's Revolutionizing Prosthetics Program. It's a prototype. It's the most advanced uh, upper limb prosthesis. Well, the DECA arm is an advancement in upper mm -hmm. limb prosthetics uh, that surpasses the current commercially available designs. The DECA arm simply offers more motion with less thought Everything on a DECA arm for a full arm user is powered and that's very unique. It doesn't exist commercially. So I was uh, kind of like uh, taking the tool out of my tool belt and using it as much as I could so that I could test it. I mean, lift this and tote that and shovel snow and do whatever I could. Artie is a great example. Artie is. Uh, a pleasure to work with. Uh, he challenges us, actually. He shows up every morning here before I do, just eager to get started. The VA and the Department of Defense have stepped up to the plate to serve this small population of veterans and wounded warriors. Uh, we're no commercial partner or uh, inventor has been able to do so. It's a small, and it will hopefully always be a relatively small market of upper limb amputees and I think it's really admirable and exciting that we are in this time period where there's a major investment in this type of development uh, and I'm so appreciative of having the opportunity to be part of that and all through the funding of VA research. The control schemes of the DECA arm are also very unique for the full user who has a powered shoulder, powered elbow, powered wrist, and the hand. There is something called endpoint control, which allows the user to uh, think about the position of the terminal device or the end of the prosthesis and move that in space, and that makes it easier to position all, all these uh, separate joints. Uh, that's also very unique and not available in any other type of device. Before I had the, the prosthesis, I was just a one-sided person. His hope initially was, when he came into the study, he said, if I can be of service to the younger veterans and try to improve things for them, you know, that's what I'd like to do. Basically, that was, would be his legacy that he said he would want to leave behind. But a funny thing happened on the way to that goal. He actually realized he can do something for himself, and his hope for others became his own reality. We encourage people to be in touch with us, to get involved, to volunteer, and to be part of making the future happen. Hope is, uh, is necessary for recovery, it's necessary for working with therapists, it's, it's necessary uh, to bring you back to normal or normalcy in life. It's changed his life. He has a prosthesis now and he's utilizing it. He sees things as possible now. Uh, he has hope. VA Research, improving veterans' lives.